I'd now like to welcome to the stage our Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of New South Wales, Professor Ian Jacobs, to give you a welcome on behalf of the University. Thank you, John. And thank you, Auntie Lola, for that welcome to country. I, too, acknowledge the Bejigal people, the traditional owners of this land upon which we meet today. And I welcome you all to the David Cooper Symposium. There are, of course, some people that I particularly want to acknowledge. Firstly, David's wife, Dori, and his daughters, Ilana and Becky. Senator, the Honorable Lisa Singh, Senator for Tasmania. Dr. Kerry Chant, Chief Medical Officer of New South Wales. The Honorable Michael Kirby, patron of the Kirby Institute and, of course, former Justice of the High Court of Australia. The Honorable Dr. Neil Blewett, Kirby Institute Life Governor and former Federal Health Minister. The Honorable Gillian, Gillian Skinner, former New South Wales Health Minister and Mrs. Gillian Siegel, Deputy Chancellor of UNSW. And welcome to all of you. Yesterday's memorial service really was a fitting tribute to David Cooper. For all of us there celebrating the achievements of a great man, it also provided us with an opportunity to reflect on why we do what we do and to be genuinely inspired by David's immense contribution. David was a man whose dedication to treatment of HIV and AIDS played a pivotal role in controlling a disease which once left patients totally devoid of all hope. And with this wonderful turnout of David's colleagues and friends here today, this symposium will be just as fitting a tribute. In fact, I was just reflecting, and I suspect that David would have been much more comfortable with today's scientific symposium than the pomp of yesterday. I'm sure he would have enjoyed today. I mentioned yesterday at the memorial that David was the very first academic from UNSW that I met after I had accepted the role of Vice-Chancellor at this wonderful university. And I also said that with typical generosity, he flew to Manchester to welcome me, to give me the lie of the land, and make sure that I knew exactly how important the Kirby Institute was to UNSW to the global fight against HIV AIDS, and to him personally and his colleagues. I was just as impressed as I'd expected to be at our initial meeting, and my admiration for David Cooper only continued to grow over the all too short time, the few years that I had the opportunity to work with him and get to know him. And I, I speak for all at UNSW when I say we are incredibly proud to claim him as not only one of our premier researchers, but also, of course, as an alumnus. His body of research over his more than 30 year term, 30 years as director of the Kirby Institute is of immeasurable importance. David saw the AIDS epidemic as a global problem and collaboration as a key to a global solution. His tenacity, his collegiality, and the esteem in which he was held allowed him to break down silos and forge important links between all the groups that were needed, researchers, governments, the pharmaceutical industry, and philanthropic circles. I was struck yesterday perhaps most importantly, by the affection, love, and admiration from the patients that he cared for. His coming together with the late Dr. Jupe Lang from the University of Amsterdam and Professor 
Prapan Panapak from Chulunkon University in Bangkok to form HIV NAT was a wonderful example of collaboration opening the door to the global fight against the epidemic. And I know we're all looking forward to hearing more about HIV NAT from Dr. Pranapak shortly. In being here today, by striving to overcome the challenges we still face in infectious disease research and upholding the belief that everybody deserves access to treatment and prevention, we honor the tremendous legacy of David Cooper and commit to carrying on his work. Over many parliaments, the Parliamentary Liaison Group for HIV AIDS, Bloodborne Viruses and Sexually Transmitted Diseases has been committed to raising awareness about HIV AIDS and to advocating for bipartisan scientific approaches to treatment and support. So it gives me great pleasure to say a few words of introduction about our next speaker, Parliamentary Liaison Group Deputy Chair, Senator the Honorable Lisa Singh. Senator Singh has been a lifelong supporter of human rights. As a community leader, women's and peace activist, minister in the Tasmanian Parliament, and since 2010, as a member of the Australian Senate. Senator Singh got to know David Cooper in 2016 through, I believe, her role in the Parliamentary Liaison Group. And she saw firsthand the innovative work the Kirby Center produced and the passion with which they produced it. Senator Singh and her parliamentary colleagues continue to advocate strongly, and I quote, for a renewal of efforts to end the transmission of HIV AIDS and the discrimination that diagnosis can still bring. So now I, it is a great pleasure to ask you to join me in welcoming Senator the Honorable Lisa Singh.